hi viewers welcome to my channel at easy service where we make survey practices easier and educative in this video i want to quickly show everyone some autocad tricks and tips so i'll be extracting coordinates from a plan then converting the extracted coordinate to excel table all right so to do that all you have to do is to load in the particular plan of interest so i will copy this then paste to original coordinates zoom to layer so you can decide to draw the plan afresh by using the polyline tool so if you want to draw it afresh you can use the polyline tool to draw the line any which way works better all right so in the course of this video i'll just be using an already made plan so i want to extract the coordinates of these edges by using the lips command in a very quick manner so that so to do just that you quickly set up your units on the new window all right so you can check out under this video description on how to set units accurately so i'll just set this briefly all right so you don't need to do the clockwise and um you set the submitters you don't need to do this clockwise and you don't need to do the direction by not so so i just want to leave the unit set up this way all right so it is already made plan all right that is why i have to leave it that way so after you have done the setup that way all you have to do is to come to your command line then you type app all right so on app you go to upload then you click enter so this is the different lips command so so what i'll be using in the course of this video is the coordinate lips command so i'll click on that all right after that i'll click on load then it will be loaded successfully all right then you click on close okay so after that all you have to do is to come to your command line then you type coordinate that is c double o r all right then this is the coordinate lips command you click on that as well so on your command line it will direct you to enter the first point so the two is already activated all you have to do is to come to the edge of the point then you click on it all right so i've clicked on that then i'll click on the second one as well okay so it will ask you to enter the start point number so i want the number to be serially labeled by p1 p2 p3 by one increment so i'm just going to type one on my command line then click on enter all right so it will tell me where i want the table to be so i just want the table to be somewhere here okay so i'll click on that portion so as you can see this is the table for my p1 the first coordinate and p2 the second coordinate and this is the table so the nice thing is to choose the other point line all right the two is still activated so you click on the next point that is point three then you click on the fourth point that is point four okay so if you have other points on your plan you make sure you click on all points the way you want it to be on the table so when you are done you click on enter on your keyboard so this is the coordinate that has been extracted from the plan okay so i am just going to make this bold by increasing the scale so guys this is the coordinate extracted so the next thing i'm going to do is to convert this table to excel table all right so to do that it's still going to be the same process up on your command line then you click on enter then you go to where your lips command is so this is the find the coordinates so you go to where your lips command is there so what i'll be using the lips command in this case is the te the table export all right so what i'm going to do is to click on it then click on load so it will be loaded successfully then click on close all right so when you are done with that all you have to do is to come to your command line then type te okay so this is the te lifts command you click on it then you are going to highlight the whole table that has been extracted so when you do that you click on enter so it will automatically generate the table on excel below so let me just open it and here it is on 
Excel okay so if you are in need of the lips command please do well to check under this video description to see the download link to that so guys that's all for that in the course of this video in the next video i'll still show you some other tricks you can do on autocad if you find this video helpful please do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as share to as many as possible platform to support and encourage us thank you